Guys, uh, we're gonna go find me the deep. We have a very good guy here. Yeah. Name is Joe, yeah? Yeah, Joe, 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 Joe <laughs> yeah, my wife. Eh? We're gonna cry school bar today. See you guys. exciting but for me as a first timer it's a bit scary so it's a good thing that um, my first experience is here in a pool rather than in the out in the open sea which I think I 
I will really panic. His main thing is um, um, I get nervous when I couldn't really breathe through my nose and water gets into my mask and I felt like I've swallowed some sea water. So there was a point where I panicked. In fact, I panicked like two, three times. But I was under, in very good hands uh, with the guide, Joe. He's a very nice guy. He guided me, he was very patient. So whenever I panic, we just go to the surface. Then after a few times, I felt um, more adapted to the environment and I, I could actually go much deeper. But no matter how deep it is, it's still just 5 meters. So it's a good scuba diving experience for a first timer or a beginner like me. Yeah, whereas my husband, he's a pro. He's been diving for since he was 20 over years old and uh, he's a certified paddy diver. So he, I look at him diving around, he, was, he looks like fish in water. So, well, <laughs> I, I, I think I have a long way to get there. But anyway, it was a really nice experience. I'm going to try scuba diving for the very first time uh, with your kids. This is a very nice environment to let them have the first taste of marine life. <music> At Tanjung Lu Jerry, uh, going for the mangrove tour at uh, this tour agency called Jungle Wala. Now you can see behind me, there's a lot of the boats here. They are going to take us uh, to the mangrove tour. So, uh, yep, we just arrived here. It's about uh, 10.30. The tour will commence shortly. So the tour basically will be, you know, going around, exploring the mangrove swamp. As you guys know, mangrove swamp is a very good actuary for fishers for marine life and all sort of things. So it's also good for causing, uh, preventing flooding and erosion. So guys, uh, if you guys are watching this, do remember to conserve the mangrove swamp. They are a vital part of the ecosystem. So without much ado, we'll go on and uh, hop onto the boat and uh, go on for the tour guys. See ya. Hi hey guys, good morning. We are here at the floating restaurant preparing to go for our four hour kayaking uh, session uh, exploring the mangrove swamp. Hi right, guys, uh, spray a lot of insect repellent, a lot of mosquito there, so you know, sunblock to prevent from getting sunburned. This is a floating restaurant. We're waiting to uh, you know, get on our kayak to start our journey, four hours, and check out the fish here. These are the GT, or the giant trevally. This is a fish farm, so uh, later on we'll be back here to have our lunch after the kayaking session. Okay guys, 
All done up with the live checker. Remember to uh, always have your mosquito with you. Bye bye. So I'll stop in there and uh, yep. So we're on this part of the glass, uh, what do you call the Hyatt? And uh, two person, my wife in front, taking the video. Say hi. 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 So we're waiting for the rest of the team to load up and then we go. Do you prefer cruising through this place or kayaking? Well, kayaking is definitely better. You get up close and personal with nature. You can touch the water. You know, you can go very close to the mangrove swamp. You can, you know, if you want, you can feel a mangrove swamp. So, other than motorboat and boat, you cannot get too near. And then, uh, we'll work out for you. So, we're looking to uh, watching our cup. So, Really good work. I see I'm sweating everywhere. So it's a hot day today, but anyway, it's fun, guys. You know, works out your biceps and uh, a good workout for you guys. Right? If you kayak, it's uh, really good. Good exercise, guys. Right? Back for lunch. Yeah. Kind of inspired to pad a The world starts to conserve mangrove swamp because uh, not only is a uh, habitat for a lot of animals, but it's also good for the world. You know, you know like, uh, prevent the flood, erosion, you know, things like that. So uh, next time you guys uh, look at a mangrove swamp, just think of it. It's a home for a lot of animals, and you know those mangrove swamps. The uh, the leaves of mangrove. If you look at the leaves. Some of them are really yellow, right? Because they've been petrified, because there's too much salt in it. So yeah, it will drop off. So how the mangrove uh, get the fresh water is that uh, the roots has the ability to, you know, draw in seawater, brackish water, and then uh, filter it through leaves, and through the root system, and then uh, pure water. So that's why you see there are a lot of leaves here. That is yellow. You see them all yellowish leaf. See, this leaf is yellow, right? So it's been petrified with a lot of salt. Hi right, guys. So signing off from Nankarwi, and this one. See you guys. Remember, subscribe and give us a like. Ciao. A good uh, grueling four hours. Lots of paddling. Uh, sometimes against the current, against the wind, but uh, we made it back. Just in time for lunch guys. Hi guys, we're at Langkawi Wildlife Park. Let's go and check it out. This is a black caiman. It looks like a, a fake one, but it's actually a real one. So, uh, black caiman from Brazil. So we can actually touch it. There we go, give it a stroke, but not a head, right? How old is this? Around nine years old. So, nine years old boy. Yeah, guys. It's cold because uh, reptile being reptile, they are cold-blooded, all right, guys? Check him out. Look at those teeth. Are they menacing? There yeah, well, guys. Here we go. Yep. It doesn't seem aggressive, it's like very quiet. It's not under training. Under training. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, oh dear, that's how they say, oh dear, these are pretty cute deer. Hi guys, uh, we are done with the uh, Langkawi Wildlife Park. Uh, well, it's a bit different, uh, you know, I'm kind of surprised that uh, in this park itself, you can really come up close and personal, you can touch the deer, the tortoises, the rabbit, the birds, everything. You can have a hands-on experience, you can feed them, buy vegetables or bird feed, feed them and they come up close and personal to you and, uh, you know, pet them and everything. It's a very good place for you to bring your children here because I think they could have a very good experience, you know, embracing all this little animal from guinea pig, rabbit, and you even touch the caiman, you know, it's lying there and it's the caiman and we pet it, you know, kind of things like, really fun place to be, you know, even for adults like us, me and my wife, we really had a good time here, right, right darling? Yeah. Yeah, we had a good time here playing with all the animals, you know, do check out our videos guys, and you know what I mean, right, remember to subscribe and press a like, bye bye. Hi guys, good afternoon. We are at Senti Style Beach. The name sounds very menacing, isn't it? Yeah, well, this is the most secluded beach compared to the uh, Pantai Chenang Beach. Check out the sand, it's really fine. It's really fine. It's slanting like a sword, isn't it? Very fine sand. Yep, this is the place where you guys want to come and uh, have a private kind of beachfront to yourself. This is the place. So next time guys you are in Langkewi, you know, can come over here and check out the Sandy Skull Beach guys. The Sandy Skull Beach, there's no shower facilities. Uh, so next time you come, remember to bring your own tower, guys. And there's no refreshment area here, bring your own drinks and food, right guys. So, well, being a secluded beach, you get a private beach fun, but you don't get a shower. But anyway, it's a good trade-off guys. Guys, we are at Kumburan Fall in Langkawi. This is a natural waterfall. Isn't it marvelous? Check it out. All the way up, I think probably a 10 story high. So the water here is really crystal clear and it's fresh. You know guys, uh, it's cooling too. Hi guys, we are at the base of Kumburan Fall. In you know, order to get up here, you have to climb up about, uh, you know, five, 10 meters of steep, Slippy stone, so be careful. But it's all worth it. Check it out. Really nice. There's another place here you can actually dip in, cool down after a hot day, right, guys? Especially if you come from Sandy Style Beach. This is a place you can really wash away all the sand, cool down, guys. So next time in Langkawi, remember Pomboran Check it out. See you guys. Bye bye.